right, have and have not fans. This is a follow up to the video I did just yesterday about will Hannah get blamed if J Wyatt shoots Jim. And there was a wonderful comment. I know a lot of people commented this later on in the day, but I saw this comment first. Uh, I got the notification and I'm like, holy crap. This is what I love about the comment section. When I put a lot of work into a video that I feel is almost foolproof, but then someone comes in with a perspective that just hits me like, you know, like a car in the blind spot on the highway. I know that's a bad analogy, but it's 4.30 a.m. I'm tired, but I still need to do this video. And I don't want to mess up this guy's name, but I know his last name is Bean. I'm just going to put it up on the screen here. Basically, he was saying, you know what, Jeremy, What uh, I'm just kind of paraphrasing what he said as well as a lot of other people. It's like, look. Um, what if God, I mean, what if Hannah says that God heard me kind of like what you were saying about the whole situation of God heard Hannah in regards to Jim being killed, switch it around to God hearing Hannah all the times that she had prayed and asked and wanted Candace to change for the better. I mean, Hannah has prayed, Derek and Hannah have prayed, and now we're finally in a situation where it looks like thanks to Landon and Charles, Candace might actually be willing to move forward to that path of the straight and narrow and Hannah finds out about it and that's why she starts crying God heard me and I think we see someone getting up to try to console her so that will be interesting now we know for a fact that Catherine shows up at the house next week Derek shows up at the house what about Candace? When is she going to show up? Will Hannah be crying in this next episode? I think that and I'm just making the assumption here. It might be a good chance that um, the characters are wearing the clothing that they'll be wearing for the duration of the season because we only have three episodes left morning, 15 minutes out of time. I could be wrong, but I'm just speculating here so we can pretty much see that. At least in the preview that Candace is only going to be seen with Charles and Landon at the hotel. So I don't think she's going to be coming over to the house until maybe um, the 12th, uh, March 12th. So that would be 15 minutes. Again, I could be wrong, but I'm just speculating here. But in any case, we can speculate that Candace does change for the better. Hannah is breaking down because, to be honest, you know, at this point, I was thinking either she finds out about Derek and the tattoo earlier in the season. It was like, what if Benny is actually dead? And then on top of that, you know, it's a situation of what if Jim Cryer dies and then she feels bad. But then we got to throw in the equation of what if Candace actually does change. And as a result of that, Hannah is like overwhelmed with emotion. And it actually makes sense. So for people who are on the fence, again, I've done two videos about the God heard me in reference to Jim, now in reference to Candace. And I, you know what, guys? I cannot wait until that episode airs for this scene. Honestly, I don't even care what she's screaming about. I just want to know so we all know if she said hurt or hurt. So, again, shout out for that great comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, do you think this actually means that Candace is going to change for the better? Who knows? And I mentioned this in my trailer breakdown for morning that even if Candace does change that doesn't change the fact that there are people out there trying to get her as well as what if all the people that she aligned herself with decide to well you're nothing but you know dead weight then if we're if you if you were running this operation now you're just going to change for the better so she might be making more enemies and making herself more vulnerable by switching sides but then again, if she decides to really go with Charles and have Secret Service protection and whatnot, then she would seemingly be untouchable. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, just because you're a president first lady doesn't mean you're exempt from the assassination attempts, as history has shown. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to the video if you haven't done so already, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like what you just saw. And if you have anything you would like to add to the video itself, go down to the comment section below and type out your thoughts. And I also have social media related to the haves and have nots, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook group. Links to everything will be in the description below. And if you like action figures, video games, and trading cards, I have an eBay store as well where there's free shipping on everything. But I also have a second YouTube channel that I'm working on where I talk about things that are non-Tyler Perry related such as 
anime, superhero shows and movies, music, pop culture, and sometimes political news depending on what the circumstances are, be sure to check out that channel as well. In the top left hand corner you should see a picture of Candace Young. You can click on her to subscribe to the Haves and Have Nots review. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and if you liked the video you just saw, be sure to check out the other two videos that should be popping up on the right hand side. Trust me, if you like this video you'll love them too. Once again, thanks so much for visiting my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you in the next video.